internet um, era when we are saying that the economies are innovation driven, which in a sense is knowledge driven uh, or creativity driven. In that kind of business, actually, your importance of physical assets, which often we pay so much of attention, is diminishing. So today, your quality of your say, education which you are providing may not depend so much on what kind of building you have, uh, what kind of uh, fancy classrooms you have. Probably more than that, your um, uh, uh, your growth of your business will depend upon what kind of people you have, what kind of course you are there preparing, uh, what kind of interaction they are able to generate uh, through which uh, you know, everyone is gaining knowledge-wise. So, so this kind of uh, activities or this kind of uh, uh, business where your actually knowledge input becomes more important. There we um, we have to now understand the relative importance of different kind of assets. So in a business we have uh, assets, you know, fixed assets, you know, um, uh, our plant, machinery, and uh, um, our um, um, office uh, over there, which we have, you know, all this kind of, when we keep creating assets. Uh, uh, so sometimes, uh, not, um, uh, not even sometimes, not probably most often now, what we see that your return on your business really does not depend so much on these assets. These assets, anyhow, you can rent it, you know. So, um, uh, yeah, it can uh, go as your operating expenses, you know. So, you, it really doesn't matter much whether you own it or not. What matters is that what mental capability your organization has, what kind of uh, internal intellectual resources you have, experiences, capabilities, uh, the organization. Those need to be now calculated, counted, and those are the assets um, on which you can gain higher return. Uh, so, um, and to understand it better, so we have to also, uh, we, the business has to find out that what is actually the core capabilities of the farm, that means of the people. We, all of us, we are capable of doing various things, but some things we do better and that is our core capability. Say a, a, a cement manufacturer, maybe doing many other things, uh, you know, um, maybe doing many also social um, um, uh, uh, and also uh, many social activities which comes under corporate social activity and all kinds of things and also maybe they are also obviously they are uh, doing a lot of uh, activities related to marketing, procurement. So in all this they have obviously some expertise which is pertaining to manufacturing of the cement, the process, the manufacturing process you know, or um, their experience of uh, getting the best uh, raw material uh, for the best quality um, cement you know, or their understanding of a particular kind of construction problem in a particular specific area where uh, what kind of probably you know cement in what proportion can be utilized those that kind of understanding these are their 
core competence because that any other person who also understands probably how a how a build a building is uh, constructed may not have this kind of intricate knowledge. I mean, in every uh, business, you will see that that a good organization, or I mean, who is doing certain things very well, they have obviously some, uh, some core competencies because they understand those things better. So we need to figure out that who are the people. I mean, what kind of understanding they have? Uh, uh, what what are their core competence that? Um, what are the things the people in that organization businesses do much better than the other things, you know, and core competence of every individual because every individual also has, you know, um, his or her core competence. Then, um, I mean, besides this, also, I think uh, you know, what uh, what is also uh, important to understand that um, that. Among all assets, among all assets, there are some uh, strategic assets because those assets are important for long-term growth of the organization. Because uh, you know, sometimes we may have some assets which may um, help us to immediately uh, uh, tackle some uh, some immediate issues. You know, which which, which are important maybe for our, uh, say, tomorrow's uh, functioning, but there are some um, understanding, some knowledge which is important for our slightly longer term growth. You know, when, where, I mean, those assets can be considered, you know, our strategic assets, you know, so uh, this is, uh, um, say kind of our understanding of a particular set of customer uh, because of our long, continuous dealing with those customers probably we understand the, the evolution of those customers mentality requirements so well that we can probably predict for a longer term uh, perspective that how this customer behavior are changing and since those customers are our uh, very important uh, resource provider so then i think we can now strategically use that understanding of that group of customer for our long-term business growth huh? so that's uh, in a um, in an art we may say that you know uh, these are the uh, you know, intangible assets, intangible because these are not tangible assets. Suppose you can't really immediately put a value to uh, my market knowledge. So, um, <clears throat> you, you can't touch it, feel it. Huh? But these intangible assets are today pro are the source of your major profit because you, you are not earning your profit from your tangible assets uh, that much your uh, I mean your source of your uh, income revenue profit is basically your this intangible assets which is primarily knowledge base and in a knowledge economy that's why all these assets are your uh, the, the, the most important assets and they are intangible assets.